I'm getting some coffee. I'm getting some coffee. <laughs> the sun, the sun is so weird. I'm driving around looking for a place to set up and paint, and it's not that there aren't a ton of places around Seattle to paint. There's a ton. I'm just trying to find a place that I'll be out of the way. There's not a lot of people around because it's really nice outside so you know everyone's got their kids out and they're walking their dogs and I need to make sure that I set up in an area where I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> I think I'm gonna scout this area that's kind of near a nature walk. So as soon as I get my drink I'll head over there and see what I find. Maybe I can set up right here. I like this. I like it a lot. Hello fellow creatives! Thanks for joining me on my plein air adventure today. It was such a nice day outside that I decided to grab my watercolors and go out and find a great place to just sit down and sketch something and paint something and enjoy the weather. I originally meant to be sitting down for this, but I had some trouble finding a place where I could I could get a good view but also sit on the ground where there weren't a lot of bushes or really tall grass. But once I saw this place, uh, I really did like this tree. I loved the shape of it. I loved the bare wood and the overall contrast of the light and the shadows and with the water down there it made a really pretty scene so I knew this was going to be it and I had to make a decision because I was running out of daylight and so I actually did rush through this a little bit. I wish that I had maybe another hour to spend on it when I was out in the field but next time right? <laughs> As you'll hear me exclaim in just a moment here, I had a lot of trouble setting up the camera too, so I not only drove around for a little while, and then I fumbled with the camera for a good 20 minutes, so there's that. <laughs> oh no, bugs. Gather around and watch me paint the fastest plane air ever as I lose light because of my inability to set up a camera. <laughs> so I'm using the Montville watercolor block here. It's by Canson. What it is is just a pad of watercolor paper that's glued around the edges so that it doesn't have to be taped down like it normally would if it was just a loose piece of paper. The watercolors I'm using are the Mgram watercolors and I haven't always used these. Um, maybe got them about a year ago. Before that I used the Grumbacher and Cotman watercolors which are student grade and I understand that Mgrams are a little more expensive than a lot of people like to go for watercolors and if you can't do that Grumbacher, Cotman, just fine. The brushes are nothing fancy. Uh, they're the Princeton Select Round and I use a number eight round for this entire painting. And if anybody's curious about the exact tools I'm using in the video, I'll put everything down in the description for you. If I do miss anything or I don't explain something or you have a question, please feel free to ask.
in a moment here, you'll see that I'm joined by a little friend. So here's where the sun went down, there just wasn't enough light to continue. I mean, there was enough light to see, but the scene looked completely different than when I started. So I used a couple photos that I had taken earlier in the day, and I went back to my studio to finish it up. Oh gosh, look at all the makeup on my sleeve. I had rubbed my face earlier when my eye was watering so bad, and there's the evidence. Oh well. That is the white Signo Uniball gel pen, and usually it's really opaque white, and it works really great for high contrast and adding that pop of white, but for some reason, it wasn't working as well as I had hoped here. I think it had something to do with maybe the paper was just a little tiny bit damp still. So you can see me going over it several times. So here I'm just trying to brighten up the sides of the branches where the sun was hitting them the most. So this is just a brown Prismacolor pencil that I'm using to add the darkest shade to help define the dark lines on the shadow part of the trees and a little bit in the bushes.
right and it's all finished up. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did. And thanks for watching. See you next time.